Welcome to Office 2010 Video Project 37. Hey, uh, we're still talking about Excel. We're on the sheet Table F. Now we've been talking about data analysis and I already gave you the homework to do, but uh, I gotta talk tell you about the table feature. Now this is a proper table format structure field names at the top, records in rows. Here's the day, here's the, the number. But if we do auto sum, right? And we go like this, B2 to B8. If I add a new record down here, this does not update. And there's a feature in Excel, if you have a table of data that's set up properly, if you convert it to a table, it will automatically update all formulas, charts, or pivot tables that are looking at ranges in this table. So I'm going to delete this. It's super easy. You click in one cell and use the keyboard shortcut Control T and it will create a table. In uh, 2003 it's Control L. That still works. Alright, and then click OK. My table has headers. It sure does. That's it. Oh, it adds it adds formatting. It adds dynamic ranges. And look at this. It's got the sort and the filter, just like we saw in the last couple of videos. Now let's just try this. Equals sum. And I'm going to type out the range B2 to B8. And I'll show you why in just a moment. I just want to prove to you here that that range will update. You could see that blue box. All right, you ready? Control Enter. There's the formula. I see that B8. Now, how do you add records to a table? You can actually just click down here, but I always like to come down to the end, just like in Word tables or uh, other things. If you hit Tab, it adds a new record. And so I'm going to Control Semicolon. That's our keyboard for today's date. And then add 100. Now, before I hit Enter, watch this right here. Enter. It updated. But how did it do that? Hit F2. Look at that, that B8 turned to B9. Totally programmed when you have a table to do that. Not only that, but you could have a chart. I'm going to use our keyboard shortcut we learned in the charts, Alt F1. Alt F1 gives us the default chart. I'm controlling and rolling. I don't quite want it that big. That's chart junk, so I click and delete. I just want, I just want to see visually that this will, in fact, update. I'll extend the edge like that. I'm not going to worry about formatting in this video. We did lots of ch cool chart formatting in our uh, chart video. We just want to see, will it add an extra column? I'm going to click here and tab, and it's going to be 2 slash 5 slash 2011. Tab, and I'm going to type uh, 100. Now our chart, something happened to our chart here. I'm not quite sure what. You can see some data right there. Oh, I did 2001. So it stretched the, oh, that's great. Look at this. Here's the date it added this right here. Zero, 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 and then all the, the columns are here. So when I change this to 11, watch, it'll change. And there we go. That's pretty. OK, so there it is, new one. I'm going to add a new one here, and I'm going to try not to type, uh, let's see. 2011. Okay, tab, and then we'll see it show up here. And there it is. And it works for pivot tables too. In fact, let's go ahead and make a pivot table just as we did in our last video. Alt NVT. I'm going to put it on a new sheet. I'm going to immediately drag, drag groups down here. Right click group. Because I want to show by month. Click OK. Now let's drag the sales. Now the tricky part, and this is good that I uh, we're looking at this here. Let me blow this up. There's our pivot table. Now I'm going to name this uh, pivot table six. Let's go back to our table, and now I'm going to hit tab, and you're going to notice that these will update automatically. So this will be 2-7, two dash seven, as 2011 and we had uh, $200, right? So that updates and this updates perfectly automatically, but not a pivot table. Pivot tables, look, it's still got the same number there. It's not supposed to have it. Every time 
a pivot table that source data changes, you have to either use the refresh button or right click refresh. Now that's um, 579, maybe I'll do this and click refresh and now it updates. It went from 579 to 779. Just an amazing feature for people that keep data in Excel. Uh, just that's a great thing because it's that dynamic range means that these will always update. You can see that's now B12. All right, uh, three more videos, uh, the if function, VLOOKUP, and uh, keyboard shortcut. See you next video.